and discussing the practical components of payroll. How are we going to implement payroll and some of the things that we need to keep on, on top of in terms of our payroll processing and being able to, to know the current topics within payroll have to do with things with like d direct deposits and electronic payments and keeping up with new laws. Things like um, timekeeping. How are we going to keep up with the timekeeping? How are we going to record the timekeeping? What type of database system is going to be put in place? What kind of separation of duties are we going to have uh, between uh, the workers in order to implement that time information? We also have different locations. As the world is becoming um, more connected, we're going to have employees that are going to be in different states, different countries, and that's going to uh, add to a level of complexity in terms of how are we going to connect all this stuff together and how are we going to deal with the different laws and regulations. We also note that payroll, as the laws change and grow, are going to be, uh, it's more of a component that's not really in and of itself. Although it's becoming more of a profession, it also um, reaches out into other types of areas uh, within the business, including, of course, like uh, human resources and in terms of managerial planning. So we need to make sure that uh, we have that specialization in order to know what's specifically needed in terms of the payroll practice. And we also need to know how the payroll practice is being integrated and used and is part of different areas within the business and be able to work with those different areas, the human resources, with the planning uh, uh, portion for management.